what, what the mate is talking about. Yeah. What's up, family? Police are searching for a woman in Louisiana who shot her estranged boyfriend after he refused to argue with her. A warrant has been issued for Jenna Leisha Lawrence. She's 29 years old. She's been charged with attempted second degree murder in the shooting that took place early Saturday morning in the Caddo Heights neighborhood of Shreveport. Police say the shooting occurred around 7.30 a.m. Officers with the Shreveport Police Department were called to the home after reports of gunshots. When they arrived, they found a 34-year-old man on the porch with a sidewalk suffering from a gunshot wound to the body. He was taken to the hospital where he was operated on. He's in critical condition. They still don't know if he's going to make it. Investigators arrived to the scene and through their interviewing process, witnesses say that the man was shot because the woman was upset that he did not want to argue with her. Family, talk about a no-win situation. This is the textbook, damned if you do, damned if you don't. This is the example they should give. She probably would have shot him anyway had he argued. She came there to shoot him. And now we know why she's the estranged girlfriend. Dude knew. <laughs> if she shot this man, imagine what they went through before that. Imagine what she put that dude through before that. And I'm going to tell you, fam, I'm going to say it. A name like Jill Alicia? Mm, that sound like trouble, man. That sound like trouble. And look at those eyes. Look at those eyes. The contacts. Uh-uh. No, man. The eyes look scary. Jill Alicia, you may as well give it up. Your face is everywhere. It's all over the internet, all over the news. <laughs> Police say that they suspect that she took off to Dallas, Texas, where she's from. They have a $150,000 bail, a bond that they've set for her when they finally catch her. And you know they're going to catch her. Like, you can't miss somebody that looks like that, right? And that incident is going to stand out in everybody's mind. That's the girl who shot the dude because he didn't want to argue with her. That is absolutely crazy. Let me tell you something, fam. Shreveport, y'all need to get on down here and take care of your business. You got to coordinate it with the Harris County Police Department, whatever you got to do. Uh, the, the Harris County Sheriff's Department or the HPD, whatever, whoever you got to coordinate with. Y'all need to hurry up and find her because we got enough crazies in Texas already. We don't need another crazy. Come get her. We are overloaded with crazies. Hell, we got a governor who sent everybody uh, back into the workplace and, 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 and into the bars and, you know, prematurely and, and, had a is he's responsible basically for record breaking numbers of COVID cases. No, we got enough crazies already. And then you know, Ted Cruz is also out here. Oh man, yeah, it's too much, fam. Too much. Uh, this is one of those situations where you can run, but you can't hide. Communication, family, it is very important in relationships. I say it all the time that. Effective communication is, should be the foundation of any relationship. A 
effective communication. But this is one of those situations where it don't really apply because she was the estranged girlfriend. So she wasn't even supposed to be there. But this is a classic case of somebody who can't let go. They got to use violence. This is somebody who is trying to force themselves into a relationship with somebody who don't want them. General Alicia definitely needs to be arrested. Not just for shooting the dude, for those damn contacts. They're very creepy. No more talk. What the ladies talking about?